Welcome to Rice Lake Balances. I'll be your presenter today and my name is Ann Crowley. So let's get started. The Rice Lake Balance technology. We're excited to present our new balance line, which is standardized on tuning fork technology. This is an extension from an existing balance series that we carried before. Uh, this technology uh, is not new to the industry. So there are three major force measuring systems that are used today, load solve, electromagnetic, and tuning fork sensor. The tuning fork technology excels because of excellent performance and it's very reliable and stable. You know, a lot of people say I've never heard of tuning fork imbalances. Well, you know, tuning fork imbalance has been around for many years, but this tuning fork technology is also used in other very fine-tuned instruments. For instance, a clock. Many clocks are based on tuning forks, and those have been around forever. Uh, Rice Lake is introducing the TP, which stands for Tuning Fork Precision Balance. This unit has an LCD display, selectable modes, weight, unit count, and percentage. Um, this balance has 12 units of measurement. Uh, you can set up which units you're going to toggle between. Uh, you, can to you can set up your functionality to toggle between five different units or modes. 20-step uh, bar graph display, RS-232 bidirectional interface that can be used going to a printer or a PC. Options include a rechargeable battery, and also we have some NTAP models that are Class II for the pharmaceutical industry. Um, the Class II is a designation that they are have linearity and repeatability and have passed all the NTAP tests. So we're very proud to introduce these Class II balances to our series. At this point in time, we'll step up and do a demonstration on the balance itself. Um, to weigh on the balance, all you have to do is to put your container on or what you're weighing on the product and it'll display the weight. Um, to tear this container off, you simply have to push the tear button. And the tear that's taking the value of your container away from what you're weighing. So now if I was to fill my container, I would be only showing the net value of the product that's being weighed. I'll remove that, and then I'll remove the tear by pushing the tear button. I also wanted to show how easy it is to change from one unit of measurement or into a different mode with this balance. And you do that by simply pushing the function button. Pushing now, I'm weighing in pounds. Um, and when I push the function button again, I'm, I can be piece weighing or doing the count mode. When I push the function, function button again, I'm doing percentage weighing, so I could see the percentage of what I wanted. And last, I can do the weigh in ounces. So as you can see, it's very easy to set up your different units of measurement. And you can choose which ones you display, or if you don't want to display multiple ones and you only want to weigh in grams, you can turn off those different units also. So that you can enable the where your balance is set up for your application the way you want it to be. Although there are subtle differences between all the different balances, the basic functionality of the different counting modes and uh, percentage modes are the same. So in this section, we're going to be showing how to utilize those functionalities. So the first function we're going to go through is how to count on the balance. And to activate the function key, if I have it set up as one of my main functions, is I just push the function button, and I go to pieces. So right now I have the pieces displayed on my display. So now to start weighing, or start counting, I would simply put my empty container in there on the balance and push the tear button. And now I will push the target button. And the target button comes back and tells me how many samples I would like to use. It defaults to 10. If I would like to change my sample quantity, I can push the zero button to toggle between my choices of 30, 50, 100, and back to 10. I'm going to use 10. So now I'm going to put my 10 items in my container and push memory. Right now, the balance has computed my average piece weight, and it came back and said I have 10 pieces on there. So now I'm ready to start weighing in bulk. 
So to weigh more, I can simply put ever how many I would like into my container and I'm ready to go. But let's say I didn't, I wanted to change my containers and use a different container in my process here. All I need to do is to change containers is to push the tear button. It overrides the tear value and then I can load my new container. And this gives me my total weight. Okay, and that's how you use the counting mode. Now we're going to measure, we're going to weigh in percentage. Now there's different times during using a balance or a scale that you want to use different modes for a variety of reasons. There are times when you want to count out the exact number of items you have, or there are times when you may want to just know that your bottle is full. It's a hundred percent. So in this case, I want to go to the functionality mode of percentage. I'm going to zero off my scale again. So in this case, I'm going to uh, want to weigh uh, my full container. So I activated my percentage mode, as you can see right here, and now I can press target. Set my value and push my memory. Now we come back and say it's 100%. All right, so now when I'm weighing a, another container, it'll come back and say this one is only 67.5% full. So I can add product to this container until I get close to full or over full, whatever my application requirements are. In this case, I'm at 101% over the capacity. So like I was saying before, you might want to use this when you actually have a, a non-piece uniform product or you're weighing a liquid, something that cannot be counted, but you want to know if, what percentage you have. It could also be used to evaluate your inventory of maybe liquids you have on the shelf. So you might want to use this to put like a full bottle on there and you want to know how much do you have of that same item that's in this other bottle that's not totally full. So you could use this mode to find out, oh, that's 50% full or 20% full. So that could help you in evaluating your inventory. Now, this is another function, it's called the limit function. And this functionality lets you use the low, OK, and high keys. So there are times when you kind of want to maybe check way on your balance. Now, I can press and hold the target key once I get back to my regular grams mode of weighing. I'm going to press and hold my target key. It comes out to say I want to set my low value. Okay, so I'm going to put my lower value on here. I'm sorry, I was not quite quick enough for the scale here. Let me do that again. Press and set the low value. Okay, put my target value on here and press set. Okay, now it's telling me to set my high value. Put my high value on and push set. Okay, so now as you can see, anything in between these two values, the OK light is going to come on. And you see the little arrow by the OK, and that is saying that my weighment is within the values that I've set up. So this helps the operators to actually utilize the balance quicker because they don't have to read the display. They know it's OK. They can just go ahead. When the low light comes on, they need to keep adding. And studies have proven that if operators aren't concentrating on the actual display on the scale, and they're just looking at a visual indicator, they can actually operate faster. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. And we've reviewed a couple of the functionalities of the balances. My name's Ann Crowley, and thank you.